What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steve, and today we're reacting to Community Season 4, Episode 12, Heroic Origins. Last week was a freaky Monday with Troy and Abed switching bodies. That was, that was really creative and interesting. I like how they do it, and I love how they stick to the bit. Troy and Abed, best friends forever. They'll do anything for each other, and I really, really love it. But this week is the penultimate episode of Season 4. Uh, that's what I regretted, that these these last three seasons are only 13 episodes, so they're going to go by really, really quick. So before I get into this one, if you want to see my full reaction, uncut to all of these videos and all my other videos, check out my Patreon. All right, we only got about 40 minutes left of season four of Community, so here is episode 12 now. Hmm. Shirley, did you ever date Roger Ebert? Excuse me? Doubt it. Nothing. <laughs> Your feet and post them on the internet for money? Shut Maybe. No. <laughs> Guys, <this is> final <laughs> Troy story. has some. Although he did seem disappointed that the operation didn't involve sleeping with the Russian room and then waking up in a bathtub full of ice. Oh, God. I'm studying our history. Oh. oh. Nobody bite. We agree. Everybody nobody. bite. Our paths have crossed many times. We were destined Interesting. To like a team of superheroes. Is our origin story. Oh, and cool. Here we go. So you're saying we're all connected like the classic French film trilogy, Bleu Blanc Rouge. No, like something more accessible. What the hell is that? I've done it. I've infiltrated the school. Chang! I've learned its secrets. I've gained everyone's trust. Thanks, Okay, so <laughs> that, it really creeps me out. <laughs> He's got a voice changer. Once I find the last one or two missing pieces, I'll have conclusive proof that we were all destined to meet. This, this should be interesting. But there's no way you're going to get me to believe there's some outside force controlling my destiny. Oh, Ooh. everybody's seen Star Wars. Yes, pretty much. You first saw it when it was re-released in 1982 at the Greendale Palladium at 4:15 in the afternoon. How the hell? How did you know that? <laughs> you keep this ticket stub in your wallet. I bet you can't. He pickpocketed Just him. Give it back. <laughs> what? of a lost era 2008, 2008, 2008, 2008. oh shit this is so cool how do i balance straight a's extracurriculars <laughs> and israeli folk dancing every friday night and oh nerd annie oh, a lot of her medication so i heard you weren't doing that great in algebra and you know, if you need a tutor. I don't have time for math. Oh. The only thing that matters to me are statistics. Mm. Uh, <laughs> also a type of man. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember her at all. We should probably drop this. Wait, where's Pierce on this chart? Sounds like he remembers her a lot. We were at the mall on the exact same day. Interesting. Shirley, do you remember what you bought for $54 at the Love Hut? What? Oh. No. <laughs> Well, I may have an anniversary surprise for you, too. Uh-oh. You know you're going to get it, right? You're going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Abed was just standing there. Uh, Mail call. Uh, oh, that's all right. Won't be needing it today. But It's a critical document. See, Greendale sublets our land from the Arapaho Nation. Oh, shit. It's a renewal. Faster than you can say wounded knee. Gavin. <laughs> Don't give it to <laughs> I him. I resist those puppy dog eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, Greendale Resort and Casino presents Steve <laughs> Winwood. Okay. This is me and my anarchist collective at the courthouse. <laughs> we call ourselves the Anherkists. <laughs> what? I'll give you eyes up. Jeff, my man. Oh, this is a great cameo. <laughs> a woman's right to use her body however she Oh my god. It. We have got to capitalize on this. I remember those nose Anytime rings. Time anarchist finally takes a stand on animals' rights. Well, I was a really good lawyer. Misty is the stripper that Andre cheated on me with and you defended her. Oh, shoot. If you hadn't gotten that whole It is result, all connected. I would have met her. I told you we were always destined to meet. <laughs> 
a tragic event and Abed just smiling. My marriage almost ended. If it weren't for Jeff, that Jezebel would have been in jail instead of between my Laura Ashley sheets. Fault. <laughs> and by the way, the case didn't work out too great for me either. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Phelps, really? And it doesn't affect his breathing? No. <laughs> and there's this rumor going around the firm that he never received an undergraduate degree. Uh, I mean, some jag is obviously serious origin star. I almost lost my family. How does your little tragedy even compare? Well, it's still not Jeff's fault. I had to go to school here. Abed, do not write that down. I mean, I'm finally willing to forgive Annie for ruining high school. Wait, <gasps> I ruined your time in high school? Yeah. Oh, how? <laughs> Is that how he got hurt? <laughs> what? And you already admitted that you faked that injury because you couldn't take the pressure of those football recruiters. <laughs> you didn't even remember that I went to school with you. I may have lied about that too. <gasps> Troy. Hey guys, it's time to do senior class superlatives. Best move. Oh my gosh, she really Best was addicted. Joker. Coolest locker. The night most likely to succeed. Okay, this has to go to me because I am the most likely to succeed. <laughs> Troy Barnes. <laughs> Do you go to my school? <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. That's where he got. That's where he got. Your words cut me more than hundreds of non. If only Jeff hadn't defended that woman. No, that's not how it works. After I left the restaurant, if only I didn't have to pick up my kids at the mall. I could... Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, what movie are you guys going to see? The Phantom Menace. And why do you want to see it? Because we like Star Wars. Okay. If you like Star Wars, why do you want to murder it and urinate on its grave? Oh. It has double lightsabers. That's stupid. You're both stupid. <gasps> well, why Abed. do you see the movie? I'm not. I don't see why I have to go to therapist. We start from that woman, Jude. Oh, his dad. The theater got to respond. Jesus, they really all cross paths. You're the one who got me busted for drugs. <laughs> you were out there somewhere and you weren't looking for me? <laughs> but I forgot one thing all heroes need. They a need villain. Enemy. Batman has the Joker. The... And this study group has me. <gasps> Evil Abed. We've all made some bad decisions. And if you really want Everybody to Everybody does. This here, it's me. Someone just took something important from me. And you know what? I admire him for it. Hmm. I guess I'll go talk to him. You do that. And I'm gonna go get crap on other people's lawns drunk. Also, and I hate to bring this up. You did once make me pee myself. <laughs> That's right. I Back when they were kids. Um. Hmm. I hate when they're mad at each other. I wanted to make a prequel and I ruined everything. I guess it could happen to anyone. <laughs> okay, let's not get oh, crazy. Touche. And you didn't ruin anything. May I sit here? And I do know you're not that person anymore. Are you sure? Because <laughs> I was awfully good at it. Put a stripper's head through a jukebox. <laughs> What are you guys doing here? This is where I first decided to go to Greendale. Really? Really? This is where I was when I first decided to go to Greendale. The mall offers a whole new valuable demographic mm. of people away during the daytime. It's not like I even got to wear it because my husband's a tasteless pants. Oh. Hey. 
<laughs> Let me guess, he wears it. <laughs> this better not awaken anything in me. Oh, I'm sure it does. I thought pushing that woman's head through a jukebox would make me feel better, but I'm just <laughs> out of $54. <laughs> Crystal Skull was aliens, so it's a pretty great film. <laughs> Everyone was there that day? Damn. Walk over there right now and apologize to the theater manager. <laughs> Midichlorians. <laughs> Midichlorians. <laughs> what a dweeb. Yeah, what a dweeb. Oh. oh nice shot, man. <laughs> and they become best friends. Uh, does Ian Duncan still teach psychology at Greendale? That drunken limey? <laughs> That's the one. He's got tenure. Uh, Ian Duncan, I miss him. So what you're saying is that we're all each other's Uncle Ben's murder? Pretty much. And we're all Spider-Man. <laughs> hey. Yeah. But we want you to be Spider-Man. Hello? Chang's will. <laughs> hey, Abed. <laughs> you're the reason we all went to Greendale. You linked all of our stories. Like how the Cosmic Cube assembled the Avengers? <laughs> yeah. Turns out, you were always one of us. So, <gasps> I came to see if you want to get some frozen yogurt. Does this change Chang into being a good person? That's all I ever wanted. <laughs> because of you, we got to reinvent ourselves at Greendale. Everyone should have the same chance, don't you think? He Chang? already did not mail it. How long have you known? <laughs> Everyone knew. Known what? It's what you want, Chang. Yeah. It's what you want. It's confidential. I don't want to talk about it. So stop interrogating me. <laughs> oh, so he is going to mail it. All right, Abed. I'm out. Oh, <gasps> Chang, my mind. Damn, Chang. Right. <laughs> or does it? It's funny how they make him look like Gus Fring. The way he dresses. <laughs> oh, is it going to be another paintball? <laughs> Wait. Soul power information delivery. What in the hell is that? So this episode was... <laughs> I mean, it was very, like, coincidental. Like, all of that to happen is pretty far-fetched. But it was really funny. All I've been wanted to do was a good thing and explore, um, you know, link all of them in a cool way. Oh, how did we all get here? We're all intertwined. This is our origin story. Total Abed stuff, superhero stuff. But like community, everything kind of does go to shit where, yeah, he was right. They are all linked, but they all kind of do a little something to ruin something from one another. Even if these aren't legitimate backstories for all the characters, I really enjoyed it because we did get to see, you know, backstory. I, I don't like prequel movies. Like if they did Community and then they did like a prequel, I might not enjoy it as much as an episode like this where they just do flashbacks of where all the all the characters were. So that was really cool. Like we always hear about Annie and her drug problem, but now we got to see it and kind of like why she started and what made her continue to do it. You kind of you don't you never want to blame another person for for your own mistakes. But if you you know, if you could go back in time and Troy, instead of holding his feelings in, just let them out. Like it looked like he didn't really want to not like Annie. He didn't really want to act like the jock, but he did it anyway because he felt like that's what he was supposed to do. You know, things might have turned out differently. Again, you can't blame Jeff for another person doing something to another person. Because in that case, Jeff was, you know, a defense attorney. He did his job. What are you going to do? But yeah, he did tell her to like, you know, someone screwed with me. So go ahead and screw with them. And in that instance, if he would have said, just don't even bother, then that wouldn't have happened. And, you know, Shirley would have never gotten a divorce. I bet, though, at the movie theater, telling those kids <laughs> about the Phantom Menace and calling them stupid. I've never seen Abed act like that. I mean, yeah, when he doesn't like something, he'll say it. But I've never seen him act like that towards children before. And he's been around Shirley's kids. So that might be out of character. Like, 
a gas leak out of character for Abed. But I mean, for the point of the story, for him to realize or to um, to make himself the villain, I guess you have to do that. Chang, though, being the center of everything, like that's a really good plot point for the series to put everything on Chang. Uh, I think it would have worked better. Not that it didn't work, but it would work better if he just would have had more to do. As I say over and over and over again, he was amazing as a professor and, you know, he doesn't really do anything besides what the writers give him, which isn't much. But Ken Jeong is just amazing with it that he makes it work. I don't think anybody else in that position with this material would make it work. But it was still kind of interesting because it, it all even like the dean got his backstory in, and, you know, we're not going back further than that. So it leads us to believe Shirley throwing away her lingerie led to Dean picking it up, liking it, and then just wanting to be someone who just wears whatever he wants to wear. Like the origin story of the costumes. By far the funniest origin story in this episode to me, which is so outrageous, <laughs> is the pop pop origin. That was that was perfect. Come on. I understand that this it's really a convenient origin story for them all to have been in all these places. But just the sheer fact of that, <laughs> Annie running through glass, the glass breaking two balloons and magnitude being there like, hmm, that might work. And again, I don't you know, I don't even remember if he had any words. I think he just looked. He might have said pop pop, but that actor on screen for three seconds. I don't know. He just, it, it's amazing to me. And I, I wish, I wish we, we had more of some of the background characters, especially Magnitude. I love that guy. As much as I don't like prequels, I don't think I would be unhappy if they did like a mini series just with the background characters. Like each of them gets an episode. I would freaking love that. Um, I know we didn't see the face of Pierce, so now I am assuming that Chevy Chase was gone because he wasn't in this episode. They used his voice, so I guess maybe he was contractually obligated to do voiceover, but we never saw his face. And they made that little joke, was that even Pierce? He probably wouldn't even remember. So you guys can let me know again if if we, we do not see Chevy Chase anymore in this series. I, I believe we don't. So we have one episode left. Advanced introduction to finality. Oh man, are we going to see a gigantic CGI spider this episode? I would love to have seen paintballs again. I don't think we're going to see that. Honestly, a lot of shows when they redo plots, I kind of get tired of it. But the way community handles handle the paintball episodes, I think it, it was just amazing because they, they switched the theme up. So yeah, it's a paintball episode, but it's a different genre of show. Then again, this isn't Dan Harmon's season. So I feel like maybe whoever was show running this was like, we, we can't touch that because we can't do it like Dan Harmon could do it. So hopefully when he gets back, maybe we get another paintball episode, but I'm not too sure. All in all, I thought the episode, while very convenient, obviously, for all this to happen, and you could just roll your eyes like, come on, this would never happen. I thought it was kind of funny and interesting uh, to see a little bit of backstory. The only downside is that since this is the gas leak season, will this all be retconned or does anyone actually take this as canon to their actual backstories? They used legitimate plot points that Dan Harmon introduced for all the characters, but it would have been nice to, to have given this episode to Dan. Like, I mean, they didn't know he was going to come back, but an episode like this probably would have been a little more tighter and not as convenient if Dan was writing it. It would be interesting to see. I don't know if anyone's ever asked him like his take on how he would have done it. But again, very, very convenient, but also very, very funny. And kudos to the magnitude uh, backstory. That was that was amazing to me. So here we go. The penultimate episode of season four of Community is done. We have one more next week. Advanced introduction to finality. Then we're into season five. And then season six, we only have 23 or 24 more episodes. So five, six more months. And then it's done. Then I got to find something. And it's going to be really hard to replace Community. 
So let me know, what did you all think of this episode? What did you think of my reaction? What do you think of my thoughts? Whatever you want. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video. Peace guys.